Welcome to this Lee Daniels Art tutorial, Blender Basics, model anything with 3D primitives. If you haven't already, please check out my previous video, Blender The Absolute Basics, where I'll go over some of the tools needed for this tutorial. Starting with the default cube, press tab to go into edit mode. Select the top face, I to inset, and E to extrude. This will create an open box. And these two functions, inset and extrude, are the two that you'll probably use more than any other. Starting again with the default cube, press tab to go into edit mode, control or command R for loop cut, escape. Select the top edge, G to move, and Z to lock it on the Z axis, gives you the basis for a house. This over here is the knife tool or K on the keyboard. The knife tool allows you to select two vertices and cut geometry between them. Press return. Again, on the back side, using the knife tool, click and click and return. This will separate the roof, allowing you to add detail. From here, you can extrude, scale, extrude, extrude, scale to add finer details to the roof. Starting again with the default cube to make a basic mobile phone case, S and Z to shrink on the Z axis, and then S and Y to stretch on the Y axis. And this button at the top, select toggle X-ray. This will show all of your hidden geometry. Using the edge select, select the four corner edges and control or command B for bevel. Using the mouse wheel or the magic mouse trackpad, you can add segments to the bevel. And here you have the basic shape for a mobile phone case. Select the top face, I to inset, E to extrude, I to inset, E to extrude. Back in object mode, right click on the object and choose Shade Smooth. Shade Smooth will automatically smooth out all the faces, but we only want to smooth out the rounded corners. So go to the Data Properties, Normals, and click Auto Smooth. Now it will only smooth out the corners under a 30 degree angle, and you can adjust this to your liking. Again, default cube, tab, S, and Z to scale down on the Z axis. Command or Control R for loop cuts. Scroll wheel or trackpad to add more loops. Escape, scale, and Y. And then the same the other way, Control or Command R for loop cuts. Scroll wheel or trackpad to add more loops. Escape and scale along the X. Flip to the underside and using face select, select these faces. Extrude down, shift select the large faces in the middle, and then extrude down again for the legs. And then on the top, select the faces along one side and extrude up for the back. To add detail to the back, you can add loop cuts, confirm, and then using the face select, select the opposing faces, press F3 and type in bridge, to bridge a gap between those faces. You can add further edging details to certain parts, such as these corners and the underside of the legs. Select the edges, Control or Command B for bevel, and then the scroll wheel or the tracker pad to add segments. And using that exact same principle, you can make tables and other pieces of furniture.
And obviously for more cylindrical objects, we start with the cylinder primitive, scale on the Z, scale everything down, and then scale on the Z a little bit more. Go to the bottom face, extrude, and scale down. To add some detail at the top, extrude, inset, extrude, extrude, scale, extrude, inset, extrude. Right click and shade smooth. This is the basic pen shape. To add detail to the nib, we can zoom right in. Command or control R for loop cuts and just add three loop cuts to the end. Holding down the Alt key on edge select, select the middle edge and then scale inwards. To add a clip, press one on the number pad to go to the front view and select four of the faces, E to extrude. And with those same faces selected, press scale and then Y, which will scale them on the Y axis. And if you press zero, it will flatten them out on the Y axis. Move that back a bit, E to extrude. And now on the underside, select those four faces and extrude down. To create the detail at the bottom, extrude again and add some more edge loops. Select those bottom four faces, press three on the number pad to select the side view and then select proportional editing, R to rotate and adjust using the mouse wheel or the tracker pad until the angle is right. Select the four edges at the top, Control or Command B for bevel to add the detail. If Shade Smooth brings up some weird results on the faces, go to the Object Data Properties, Normals, Auto Smooth, and you can adjust the angle until it looks right. Add a cylinder, tab to edit and scale on the Z, select the top face, then press 3 on the number pad to go into the side view, E to extrude, S to scale, E, S, I to inset, and then going back into the side view, toggle the X-ray mode, press E to extrude downwards, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, and repeat. Now you have a basic shape of a wine glass. If you go into Modifiers, Add Modifier, Subdivision Surface, right click and Shade Smooth. You can increase the levels to increase the level of detail. Start by adding a modifier, Subdivision Surface. Increase the levels to about 3 on the viewport and the render. Right click on the object, Shade Smooth. Now what this does is basically gives us a ball of clay. Tab to go into edit mode. And now any change you make to the cube will average out the deformations on the mesh, giving you a smooth organic result. You can now perform extrusions and insets the same way as before, but creating a more organic look. To model with symmetry when creating organic forms, we can use a mirror modifier. Press Command or Control R to create a loop cut. Press 1 to go into the front view and making sure you have toggle X-ray selected so you can see all vertices. Select the vertices of one side and press X and delete. Now we only have one half of the mesh. Go to the Modifiers tab, Add Modifier, Mirror Modifier. You may need to change the axes depending on which half you cut. This will mirror the mesh on the other side of the object. And now whatever deformations or transforms you make on one side will be repeated on the other. If you try to move the whole mesh away from the center, the object will split down the middle. To avoid this, enable clipping in the mirror modifier. Now those central vertices will always be welded to the center of the mirror. Again, this is just a very basic overview of modeling in Blender, but these very simple techniques will unlock the key to modeling almost anything in 3D.
Please hit like and subscribe if you found this tutorial useful and let me know in the comments what techniques you'd like to see in future tutorials. Thanks for watching.